Since the internet was designed over 40 years ago, the whole world has become connected by networks. Various technologies have been introduced to improve the internet, for example, security and mobile communications such as firewalls and mobile IP. However, this has resulted in a patchwork situation that doesn't match the internet's original basic design. For this reason, it's said that someday, the system will become impossible to maintain. The Teraoka Laboratory is redesigning the basic design of the Internet and researching new possibilities for the Internet and distributed systems. まずはですね、基本的な、え、基本設計ですね。をちゃんと考え直そうというのが必要だと思ってまして、そういう意味であの、現在のインターネットっていうのは5階層の階層モデルになってるんですけども、それだとちょっとまずいかなという考えまして。もう一回層を足してやろうというふうに考えています。まあ、それによりまして、え、アプリケーションに対してもっと、なんて言いますか、リッチな、使いやすい、あの、通信方法を提供するする必要があるというふうに考えています。If you try to use several communication routes between two computers or find a suitable route to avoid trouble in the internet with the current five-layer model, all such functions must be processed in the application layer, which is the uppermost layer. The idea is to add another layer between the application layer and the layer below it, which is the transport layer, and using the new layer for processing. That would make it seem as if there's only one communication route when seen from the application layer. This would achieve a smooth network with little load on applications. Another topic the lab is focusing on is ID locator split. With the current internet, locators called IP addresses, which indicate the position of a terminal on the network, also play the role of identifiers for the terminal itself. Consequently, if a terminal's IP address changes during communication, the session can't be continued. To solve this problem, the lab is considering the use of separate identifiers and locators. まあ、現在 インターネット内で、で、の、え、名前という2つの役割を持ってます。で、こうそうしますと、コンピューターがインターネットの動いていきますと、これ結局住所が変わってしまいます。で、住所が変わってますけども、名前は変わってないわけですね。っていうわけです